Good morning, Town Wanda. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. Prom is May 4th, and the guest request forms are now available. This, the form will be in the main office and your English teacher's room. The form is a little different this year. You will need to be, ret need to be returned by April 30th. Any questions, see Ms. Stivers in the main office. Attention, voila. We will meet Wednesday, April 3rd after school in room 118 to discuss Kramer's Culture Day. Please plan to attend the meeting to learn how the club will participate in this event in May. The Tawana Drama Department is selling tickets for their spring musical of Freaky Friday. The shows are April 4th and at, and at 5 at 7 p.m. and April 6th at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. All <laughs> before we are set our tickets are $7 pre-sale and $8 at the door. Tickets can be purchased from a cast or crew member throughout the day and during all lunches. If you would like to know more, please see a cast or crew member or contact Ms. Huston or Ms. Mr. Stephan. Do you want to donate blood but was worried about missing class? Now is your chance to make a difference. If you are not taking one of the EOCs on Friday, April 12th, you can sign up to donate during that testing period, 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. If you are taking the EOC, you can still donate in a time spot after your test. We still have spots open, and, and remember that if you donate three times during your high school years, you will, re you will receive red cords for graduation. Do you, think you've, do you think you've got talent? Do you want to show us what you've got? Well, head down to the main office or room 611 to grab a registration form for the 2019 FCCLA Talent Show. There will be a mandatory practice on April 16th right after school in the pack. The talent show will be held on April 18th, first and fourth period and Mel Edwards will be the MC. Tickets will be on sale during all lunches starting on April 10th through April 16th for $5. You will not be able to purchase a ticket on the day of the talent show. There will be also be an evening talent show this year for parents on April 17th at 6.30 in the pack. Tickets will be sold at the door for $5 or $3 when you're bringing at least two personal hygiene items to donate. If you have any questions, ask Hannah Kress, Elizabeth Everwine, and Miss Gregory. Tongawanda Athletics is now a partner with Luna Cares to support women with cancer in our community. Luna Cares will be having an art contest to design the logo. logo. Criteria. Logo design should be something with care to be brave. Submission should be in no later submission should be in by no later than April 15th to Mr. Hunchy. The winner or winners will receive a prize. And now for students of the week. Um, so I'm Madeline Whitehead. I play Ellie Blake in this show, and so I'm Catherine Blake's <laughs> daughter, um, but sh pretty soon, I can't speak. <laughs> pretty early on in the show, we um, switch bodies. <clears throat> so I spend most of the show actually playing Catherine Blake in Ellie Blake's body. And I spent most of the show playing Ellie Blake in Catherine Blake's body. Uh, my name is Grace Francis, and we're yeah, both sophomores. We're both sophomores, which is really fun. Really interesting. <laughs> we don't know what to Now we're going to give you a little tour of the whole set. I stand on the kitchen island at one point. I spend most of the show in the kitchen <laughs> island because Catherine Blake, the character who I play, is a caterer for a living. So. This is where we spend a lot of the time, yeah. and we've made all this stuff in here. Um, we have doors to nowhere, but you know, we pretend it's the backyard. So that's fun. Um, what I think is really cool is that we have a second level pool, which is uh, like a backdrop of lockers, and it also doubles with when we're at the house. We have windows behind it, so the windows just come down and this cool thing goes up, which is really cool. And a lot of people stand on this to like dance and stuff. And it's really hot up here yeah. when you have the lights on you, so that's really fun. And these are the escape stairs, so if you have a scene that you have to like come down the top level really quickly, you go down these. Fun fact, I have a costume change that will probably occur on these stairs. So that's fun. Doors to like go through and just kind of like general backstage. We have some of them over there, some of them over here I think. But we have our like bio tables for the science class scene. We made all of them and they like roll. So it's really cool. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have a crazy scene with tables rolling in and out which is And now for What's the Tea and Patty G.
Starting April 1st, Burger King is selling a new kind of Whopper that it claims is identical to its original beef patty with just one difference. It contains zero beef. Congratulations to the boys track and boys and girls track and field teams last night as both won their home meet for the girls. Kyra Kuhn set another school record in the triple jump with a jump of 33 feet 7 inches and helped a relay team of Alma Peterson, Alyssa Cheney and Sarah Curry win the 4x400 meter relay. Also earning a top finish with Sarah Curry in the high jump, Megan Minnelli in the pole vault and the 4x8 team of Abby Baylow, Zoe Moore, Alma Peterson and Eva Moda. Setting personal records in their races were Brooke Hubbard and Katie Keeler in the 800 and 1600. <laughs> Eva Mata and Abby Balo set PRs in the 1600. For the boys team, setting a new personal record in the 1600 and placing first was Jens Bartel with a time of 4.52. Also setting a PR in the 1600 was Logan Murray, Connor Wooden, Owen Westpoli, and Luke Westpoli. Winning the triple jump in 110 meter <laughs> hurdles was Justin Browning. And placing first in the discus was Thomas Hickman and Anthony Dowers in the pole vault. Next on the schedule for the track team is Thursday at Edgewood. The softball team lost last night to Mercy McCauley by an 11-0 score. Their record falls to 1-2 overall, and the softball team will play next at Finneytown tonight at 5. And the men's tennis team beat Oak Hills last night 3-2. They improved to 500 on the year with a 3-3 record. The men's tennis team plays tonight at 4 in Ross. The JV men's tennis team defeated Oak Hills last night by a score of 4-1. to one. Wins were posted by Dylan Slager at first singles, Jax Gladwell at third singles, Jacob Tyree and Brendan Cameron at first dubs, and Grant Monson and Tyler Morrison at second dubs. Their overall record climbs to 3-2. and two. Home games for today, Boys JV Tennis takes on Ross at 4. And that's our broadcast on this Tuesday. I'm Patrick Geshin. Have a great day, everyone.